Hello everybody, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made um, my bonnet um, and how to make a bonnet yourself if you would like. Um, I'm going to go over kind of... Oh, sorry, Chef. Depending on how you want the bonnet, I'm going to go over how to, how to make it in certain ways if you'd like that. Um, it's not very heavily math based. This is a very easy pattern. You only need three pieces of fabric to make the bonnet. So I hope this helps anyone who's trying to make sort of a Victorian style um, bonnet um, for a costume or whatever it may be. So I'm going to get straight into the video now. Um, yeah. got this original design from a video that Makara made on Little Women and the costumes of Little Women, the historical accuracy of Little Women, she basically tore it to shreds. But in the video, she actually showed me how to make a bonnet. She actually she actually showed how to make a bonnet. And she cut out this general shape shirt. So, I mean, it's not, this pattern is not bad. It's just not the look that I was going for. So I cut this, I made an incision here and I cut the back off. Um, so I made, I made the correlation that the more steep you actually make, or not the most steep, uh, the more round you make these, you make this part right here, the more round you make it, the more um, open it would be. This is the most open, as you can see. Gives you the most open look of a bonnet. Um, this is kind of medium. If you wanna still have it cover your face, and if you want to have it cover your face and be a little bit more open, um, and then this, of course, is the least open. It goes straight over your face. So that is basically the anatomy of a bonnet. I hope I explained it correctly. So grab your bowl um, that you've gotten, or anything circular, really, and measure it at the back of your head so you can see exactly how you want the, the front of the bonnet, how large you want the front of the bonnet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this on. Kinda looks like a megaphone. <laughs> well, that fits me just fine. I'm tempted to just leave it like this, but I know I want the openness. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create a division here and cut this off so I can draw off this. This is gonna go at the back of your head, or the back of my head, and I'm going to add on um, this part. I'm gonna be using cardstock or Bristol board, and I'm gonna double layer it instead of the cereal box that Makara used in her video. So for this, instead of tracing it from this line, on this line, I'm actually going to turn this a bit so that I can accurately um, draw on um, the other piece. So, okay, I think this is fine. that if you make a mistake you can 
just go back and add on things and take off things since, ow, I just hit myself in the face. You can add things and take off things as needed because you are going to cover this anyway in fabric so any mistakes you made is going to be covered up. So this is actually a painting I made like at the beginning of my channel. I'm not sure where I'll, I'll probably upload this on my sewing channel. So this is on my Kiyomi Cakes channel, one of the first videos I ever uploaded. Um, my Kiyomi Cakes channel is where I upload all my artsy stuff and just stuff that doesn't have to do with sewing, like baking and singing and all that stuff. So if you like that, then go subscribe to that. But I'm gonna destroy it now to make a bonnet, so that's great. So to begin the process, as you can see, I have my glue gun here. I'm going to enforce it with uh, this with wire. Don't use scissors for this, by the way. Or if you don't have anything else, then use scissors. But if you do have wire cutter, my mom, my mom's a, my mom used to be a construction worker, so she has aviators. So I'm gonna grab those. With the glue and everything and with the wire it's probably going to be like a little wonky so just carefully go around and bend the wire inside to try and make the shape. So now this is the fun part. I'm gonna get on and start decorating the whole thing. So, let's start. Here, um, take this piece and fold it how you want it, like so. Make sure that the wire is proper and it's like circular, or at the very least, like a little bit circular. It doesn't have to be perfect because you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't cut it exactly on the line, but just trace it on a piece of cardboard or the cardstock.
finally time for the super fun part, the decorating part. I finished gluing the hat together and now I'm going to start decorating. Yay! I'm so excited for this. And now your bonnet is finished and you can parade around the streets looking like you just walked out of the Victorian era. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope you found this tutorial easy. Um, if you have any questions on how I did anything, definitely leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to respond to your comment. I think everyone should feel gorgeous and what they're wearing and bonnets are an especially necessity especially necessity. Oh my god, that rhymes! I was gonna correct myself and say, oh, it's absolutely a necessity, but I said especially a necessity, and that rhymes, so I'm gonna keep it like that. So, bonnets are definitely an, an especially necessity, um, and you need to make yourself one immediately. If you have found help from this video, or you have made a bonnet because of this video, send your bonnet pictures over to my Instagram. I would love to see it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Definitely leave a comment, like, subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!